Hello today and we're going to have a game of Grand Prix Simulator, yes for the Amstrad CPC and this was one of my favourite Codemasters games, really really good game this is as we're going to refund our keys because this is the game that I always use, the good old cursor keys, yes so we're going to refund them and I don't know what we're going to do for player 2, uh, QAOP, fuck it that was a classic configuration as well um, a lot of games we used the QAOP I used that quite a lot in some of the games if I couldn't use cursor keys, here we go so this is a classic, here we go, we're going to start racing, yes um, lovely piece of speak seat, oh fucking I can't even talk and already a crash, here we go, look at it ok the graphics might not look like much the cars are very boxy and, you know you've got the the white dot at the, at the front of it I don't know what that's representing in, Representing perhaps the driver's seat, I don't know <laughs> it looks like an oblong going around going around the track ah fucking wanker come on with reverse, he's got reverse gear <laughs> um, you know the graphics might not, car wise, might not look like much, but the playability of the game more than makes up for that. Because this game was so much fun to play, especially with two player. Ah, oh, bollocks. I'm going to lap that bastard. I'm going to lap the drive. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Run out of laps. You only do three laps in this race. Now you've got to wait for the drone to do the lap. Um, yeah, two players, very, very fun to play. Um, even fun playing one player as he finally makes it. And a nice bit of parking by the computer. <laughs> there we go, car one, position one. Nice little bit of speech there. That's what I was trying to say at the beginning. This track's... Hmm. We can usually get pretty far on this back in the day, but I haven't played it for a while. I actually did a review on this, on the Amstrad, but I'm, I'm redoing it again. So I did it some time ago. Oh, let's concentrate. Oh shit. Oh fucking hell! Hit the wall. You couldn't do that in a modern Formula One car, could you? And get away with it? <laughs> nah, that's what the fun of this game is. It's brilliant. And um, Codemasters knew how to program a good, fun, playable game. Uh, budget titles, but you know, all their titles that I played were quite good, fun, very addictive to play. Um, I'm not doing very well. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing this again because I didn't play it live last time. This time I'm playing it as I'm um, doing the commentary. Last time I did a recording and did the commentary after. I don't. I think that was the only game I did do. I don't. I always play them live now. Well, I always. This was the only time I didn't. But I'm doing this one live as so I beat it. Oh, look at that tandem side by side. Yes. Car one, position one, here we go. Yes, oh, this track was pretty difficult. It took me a while to get off this track back in the day, but I soon mastered it by using the shortcuts. <laughs> here we go. Oh, fucking hell, hit the wall slick. I'm mm, going to use the. Go around a long way, I think. Mm, it's a bit easier. If you've got a bit of a lead, use that. Oh, look at that. Oh, you fuck shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh fuck shit fuck it let's go down here then ok ah the computer's fucked up it all oh, the computer always takes the same ah oh, you fucking reverse back into me it always takes the same line the computer every time you play it it's always got it's one set ah oh, fucking bastard I'm stuck under the fucking bridge where the fuck am I well I'm, I've lost this game now but that's the only problem, when you get stuck under the bridge, you don't know where you are and you... And... It oh, there we go. Well, it's no good now, I can't... Can't continue now, because I can't... You've got to beat the computer. Um, unfortunately, but, you know, it gives you something to aim for, doesn't it? It's a good game. Very good game. I really enjoyed that game. Um, as I say, it was probably one of my best Codemasters games ever, because it was such a fun game to play. Um, okay, you can definitely overlook the graphics, definitely, because the game is so good. As I'm going to end this review now, thank you so much for watching, till next time, and goodbye.